In this video, I will show you how to figure out subnet ranging. Let's say you had the following question. You have a system named Computer 1. Computer 1 has the following IPv4 settings. IP address for Computer 1 is 192.168.1.120/26. Corporate policy states that the first usable number of every range needs to be the default gateway. What's the default gateway going to be for Computer 1? The four options we have are 192.168.1.1, B, 192.168.1.64, C, 192.168.1.65, or D, 192.168.1.128. First thing we need to do to figure this out is understand a little bit about TCP IP. There are 32 bits in a TCP IP version 4 address. Each section between the dots is called an octet. And the reason it's called an octet is because there are 8 bits in each octet. When a number is a 1, it means that the bit is on. When the number is 0, it means the bit is off. As you can see, in this example, 255, 255, 255, 255, all the bits are turned on. So what's important to know is each one of these ones is associated to a number. Well, what are the eight numbers? Well, it's actually quite simple. You start with the number one and you double it eight times. So if I start with the number one and I double it eight times, I would end up at one, two, four, eight, sixteen, thirty-two, sixty-four, one twenty-eight. Now, if I turn all those bits on, it equals 255. As I turn bits off, my number would change. If I turned off the 1 bit, I would have 254. If I then turned off the 2 bit, I would have 252. And as I continue to work my way from right to left, you'll see that the number continues to decline. When I have 4 bits on, 4 bits off, that always equals 240. 3 bits on, 5 off would be 224. 1 bit on is 128. It's the only bit that's on here, 128. And then if they're all 0, it would equal 0. The computer IP address was 192.168.1.120 slash 26. The first thing we have to figure out is what is slash 26. Well, slash 26 is what they call CIDR, C-I-D-R. And what CIDR represents is it's the shorthand version of a subnet mask. The 26 actually means that there are 26 on bits. So with 26 on bits, it would look like this. You have 8 bits in this octet, 8 bits in this octet, 8 bits in this octet, and then the two on bits here. And that equals the 26. So whenever you're trying to figure out a range problem, the first thing you always have to do is figure out what the subnet mask is because every subnet mask has its own unique set of ranges. You can see that all of them turned on equals 255, 255, 255, and then 192. Now how did I come up with 192? Because the first two bits on equal 192. If 128 is on and 64 is on, that equals up 192. So that's how I know that it's 192. So my computer one's IP address is actually 192.168.1.120 with a subnet mask of 255.255.255.192. Now once I know the subnet mask, I can then figure out the range. Because when you have a subnet mask of 192, wherever the last one falls is what your ranges go by. So for example, my first range would start with 64, my next range would be 64 added to it, and my next range would be 64 added to it, which would be 192. The problem is I can't use 192 or higher because that is my subnet mask. So my two possible ranges are 64 to 127, 128 to 191. Now this is for a class C. So if I'm using 255, 255, 255, 192, my ranges go by 64s. So those are not all usable numbers. 
the first number of every range and the last number of every range have an actual job within the range. The first number of every range represents the network ID. The last number represents the broadcast. So these aren't all usable. My usable numbers would be for this range 65 to 126 and 129 to 190. Those are my actual usable. That means those are the numbers that I can give to hosts. Hosts being users, printers, machines, anything that needs an IP address. So if we go back to our original question, Computer 1's IP address is 192.168.1.120 and 255.255.255.192. Computer 1's IP address is 120. The corporate policy states that the first usable number of every range needs to be the default gateway. Well, since computer 1 is 120, that means they sit on this first range. Computer 1 falls between 65 and 126. Since the first usable number of every range needs to be the default gateway, the default gateway would then be 65. So our answer would be C. In this video, I showed you how to figure out a range for a subnet mask.